Welcome to another fantastic week where we talk about just real estate. Welcome to Real Talk with BRG. Last week was simply amazing. Mm -hmm. You guys learned a lot and I'm happy that we were able to teach you all you needed to know about buying land. This week we're talking about something special. My name is Ria Abdul and of course I'm not doing this alone. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm good. How's it from last week? It was really mind-blowing. It was mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. And with you on the show with mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. it's just a bang mm -hmm. because... Even the guest speaker, yeah. they made it really fun mm -hmm. and educative. Yeah. But most importantly, having a host and a co-host mm -hmm. that has this knowledge, it yeah. just makes it look very And good. Sarah, I'm trying to buy land now, so I'm, my surveyor is there. Like, I'm, I'm doing it how they said I should do it, actually. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's, anyway, guys, that's a good decision. Once again, welcome to the show. Now, today we're going to be talking about real estate and we're also talking about, like, buildings, you know, from the scratch, from having the idea, from putting it, like, from having the idea, basically, to the final stage. That's we're going to be talking about right here on the show buildings the last we're going to talk about everything that has to do with when the idea starts to how it finishes and of course i have my guest with me you know i'm definitely not going to be doing this alone he's well known to the brand he was here last week he loves us a lot so he said he was going to come back and we said it's fine we'd like to have you on the show so Emmanuel Abikoye is right here he's a co-founder of Tribitat and the billionaires realtors group brg welcome Thank you, Ria. How does it feel like to be here again? Yeah, it's 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 awesome. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel elated. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel good to be here again. We know you love us. See your beautiful yes, I love seeing your face. <laughs> Okay, and not just him, we also have a special guest. He's new to the show, but he's our very most special guest. I'm talking about drum rolls, <laughs> engineer Lukman of Palaye. I hope I got that correct. Did I? No, no, you tried. Yeah. <laughs> and he's actually 100 100. I love it. And he's actually the MD of Erectors Engineering Limited, and he's our guest today. Trust me, his expertise are just amazing. And having him on the show, you need to grab your pen and grab your paper because it's definitely going to be amazing. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank nice you. to have you. you. Thank you. You know, before we even go into our conversation, yeah. first of all, what did you do this morning? I, yeah, I keep my daily routine, so I work out. Oh, oh you work out? Yeah, I, I do a bit of exercise. You know? Chief coach is quiet. No, no, he has to be quiet. No, no, no. Chief coach is quiet. <laughs> you have to do that. You know, yeah. uh, every day of your exercise keeps mm -hmm. you at least takes you an extra year yeah. ahead of the time. Okay. So, so I do that So before coming to the site. So I'm a side person. Mm -hmm. So I actually came from side down to the studio. High five. Please give me high five. Low <laughs> five, actually. Chief Coach, I know you had to about this morning, but quickly, what did you do this morning? <laughs> well, it, it got me there. Mm -hmm. Even though I wake up, I'm not, I didn't go for any exercise. Okay. We know. We uh, see it. <laughs> well, I'm planning to eat the gym very soon. Just watch out for me. We cannot wait. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I woke up, mm -hmm. say my prayer, yeah. and um, I put one or two things in place because I know today I'm, I will be shooting with you guys and yeah. my eating through my activities for mm -hmm. the day. So I make sure that I attend to one or two things, yeah. then delegate one or two things to also my personal assistants. Yeah. Then yeah, I'm with you guys. So and, you have me. And we have you all to ourselves. Thank you guys for coming once again. But we're just going to drive straight into the topic. Now, I've read and I know that buildings are supposed to last for like 50 to 100 years. Okay? But right now, we see some buildings. It's no news that we've seen buildings that have fallen down in less than two to three years or even some in months. As an engineer, which I know that you are very vast when it comes to stories like this, what would you say? What are the elements that goes into building something that will last? Something that will stand the test of time? So basically, thank you for that question, your question. It's actually a question that the industry players have, have, have had to grapple with over time. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you talk about a building element, basically we have foundations, we have your columns, we have your beams and slabs, then you have maybe the roof. So, you know, it's not just putting all, everybody in this industry, even a, a year one student can put up the structure. Mm -hmm. But what goes into it is the processes and the procedures. Yeah. So you, you, you have to, there are some key things that you need to really, really put your attention to mm -hmm. that most people in this industry today now let, allow to let it fly. Okay. Fly uh, and yeah. it results into mm -hmm. a very disastrous yeah, you know, but yeah, what are some of those process. things? I want to know. Apart from the basic building element that I stated earlier, like the foundation, the column, the beams, the slabs, then the walling elements, it's not just this. 
as I said, a, a year one, an elementary engineer can actually put them together. But it's the processes and the procedures that matters. Mm -hmm. Then also not ignoring the basic facts, which is the human factor there. Mm -hmm. The human factor is what matters. If you have, you can have all the money in the world mm -hmm. and buy all the goods and expensive materials, mm -hmm. but putting them together, combination of all these things really goes a long way. So as I said, your designs also is a factor. So once your desi design is not flawed, you are sure of having a very fantastic building that will stand mm -hmm. the test of time, even yeah. beyond this hundred that we are seeing. Okay. So, so if I want to pinpoint on just two or, or, or two or basic things that we need to take home now, you need to ensure that your reinforcements mm -hmm. is of adequate sizes and meet the, what we call in engineering parlance now the characteristic strength of your your reinforcement should be at least. Your tensile strength, now what I mean, should be at least 385 newton per millimeter square. Mm -hmm. So, to all our develop, to all our develop, to all our, our landowners and our builders now, you will need to know that if your reinforcement is brought to your site, you you equally need to take it to a lab for mm -hmm. a test that would determine that would determine the characteristic strength of that of that steel. Mm -hmm. So minimum you should be looking out for is 385 newton per millimeter square. Mm -hmm. This varies based on engineer, some actually increases it. So mm -hmm. that's on steel. So on concrete also, for every coal, for every cause, majorly all your all your building elements are made of concrete. Mm -hmm. So your concrete has to be tested at as at when do each time that it's produced on site mm -hmm. and you take it to a, for a crush, for a crushing test. So uh, you know you do these tests, all the tests are available material legacy material testing lab or in the yeah. lab also. So also you need to look out for for your beam, for your coulomb must at least are thin, not less than 30 to 40 kilo or 40 newton per millimeter square at at the end of 28 days. Okay. These are basic things that yeah. that is well known in the industry. Okay. So you also know that your slabs can now be maybe 25 newton per millimeter square. That is safe. Yeah. So to okay. I think for for a layman that is mm -hmm. building, yeah. you can actually ask your builders and engineers this, so they will know that at least you you've gotten the right knowledge yeah. Yeah. In, from this show. Yeah, but quick one. Okay. I, I think I want to add something. Okay. Yeah. Um. What I want to add to mm -hmm. here is talk about from the um. Experts. Expert. Okay. Like as, the, an yeah, yeah. as an engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Then you made mention of the human factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think one thing that we should also uh, take note of is the human factor, the type of people that, the type of, the, if you remember last week, I, I said, um, according to my laws of real yeah. estate, yeah. Yeah, the law number two is that you need to have a team. So, yeah. and your team now consists of your surveyor, your surveyor and other yeah. stuff, mm -hmm. other team that you need to work with your lawyer to check um, the land for you to mm -hmm. verify your title. Yeah. Then when it comes to development of the properties mm -hmm. after ascertaining that the title is is genuine, then you need uh, engineers and people to work with so we also need to put in qualified team to work yeah. with as in the, now you need to have qualified team it depends on the technicality of your designs mm -hmm. if your design is technical you don't just need a year one mm -hmm. In carpet, just yeah. like you said, exactly. it's easy for you to put the pot. Yeah. The technicality that is involved, mm -hmm. you need somebody that is well experienced mm -hmm. and that has handled that kind of thing. But I think that some people or developers mm -hmm. try to shy away from that. that. And because of this, we have uh, yeah. a big collapse. You know, but I like to ask this question. Sometimes we hear that, oh, a building has collapsed because the blocks they use were fake or the materials yeah, were fake. And then I also want to know, at what point do you know that a building will collapse? And this I'm saying this because there was a particular building, I'm going to talk about my country, Ghana. There was a particular building. Yeah. Um, it was there for like three to four months. And then we could tell that the building was going to collapse because we could see that the building had shifted. Yeah. They did nothing to the building until the building collapsed. So I also want to know, is, is there a particular point you've put something up that you know that this thing might fall down? Yeah, basically, as you just said also, being a layman yourself, mm -hmm. you you are saying that in about four, three months yes. back, you know that this vision. I could tell. Yeah. I can I can tell you yeah than if you can even inquire from people that have their building collapse or they have witnessed it. Mm -hmm. you, a building don't just fall overnight. Yeah, it's really not possible. So it is a gradual process. Mm -hmm. It is a is a combination of several failures that are mm -hmm. done over time. And also, mere looking at that structure, you will know that. 
it is actually giving way. Mm -hmm. There's a building that collapsed or, or, or yeah, that really shook the entire nation some yeah, time back. Uh, I happen to have some you know, private knowledge mm -hmm. about that building. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in this industry knew that that building might eventually fall. You knew it was going to so fall? So everybody knew you to eventually fall. It's, mm -hmm. So it's now deep. So, so that's why I said it is a combination of several factors. The human factor is very key. Yeah. So apart from you having, in fact, this is a rich guy that has all the money to put up the best, the materials and all, yeah. but he wasn't putting up the best thing. Best so thing. we should have that, we should ask that partner question, mm -hmm. who among the developers is actually ready to invest in the human factors mm -hmm. of it? Who, is, who actually is ready to pay mm -hmm. the right team to actually handle that job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then talking yeah, so, about... So, sorry, okay. sorry for cutting mm -hmm. We had this conversation in mm -hmm. the office yesterday yeah. where, you know, real estate people, mm -hmm. all these industries, we talk about yeah. real estate yeah. and um, what is happening. So we're talking about a very prominent real estate developer and um, we're talking about his project and um, someone was saying, uh, this guy just built mass houses, the projects are not okay in two years, it's fading away, you know. You know, you can see that the projects, mm -hmm. two years projects started already deteriorating mm -hmm. from the SNL group. Yeah. And, um, and I said, you see, this guy that we are saying that is building yeah. um, uh, low awesome. standard uh, mm -hmm. project. Yeah. Take this guy from Nigeria, take him to Dubai. Mm -hmm. You will be shocked that it's going what to it build will do. the standard mm -hmm. that they build in Dubai. Yes. Or you take him to the UK, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked that it's going to build according to the standard and persuasion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's going to use, use the right set of So what is it about the Nigeria right then? What the is right it about of, what is it about of, of, here? Is it, is it a mindset thing? It's not really a mindset thing. I think it boils down to regulation. Because mm -hmm. you know, oh, this in Lagos, for instance, every developer wants to be a builder. Mm -hmm. You hardly see them being their builder. So you, they will not want to, they will not want to, they don't want yeah. to romance the, the professionals. Mm -hmm. They will believe as long as they have that money, mm -hmm. yes, they can actually, they can actually get some quagsite, some Baba Sakura around. Mm -hmm. Why, why, to, why to do you choose Baba Sakura? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so, so that's very, that, that's one thing that has really plagued the industry, really. So, and it's something we are trying hard to fight back. The, mm. Nigerian, the Nigerian system of builders, the, mm. the current the Nigerian Society of Engineers, mm. this work, this work, we, we have our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. we, we need to really fight this. Mm. Uh, and I, uh, we believe that the, the, mm. the game is changing. Yeah. The game no, is changing. It's not it, used to yeah. be. Yeah, really it actually should change because for me, when a building falls, it doesn't just fall. People might be inside. So for me, it's, it's, it's the human angle because even the building we're talking about, we're not going to mention names, like people died. So yeah. like, I feel like this is something the government should really take serious because these are people's lives like people came to work people came to continue what they were doing and they didn't go back home so you know i feel like that's a key thing that the government also needs to yeah. look out for you know when it comes to that then, but also okay. with regards to your profession in the case where a client give you gives you a project and gives you an amount like you give the person a budget but then inflation what have you how are you going to manage that situation yeah, if you are so close to this okay. industry, you will know that yeah, there's something called variation. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew we 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 all bought we all bought from the same market. Yeah. Yeah. So so if I should come to you and tell you that yeah, cement as at the time of what signing that contract is about mm -hmm. five thousand, then it has gone to six thousand. This is something you can easily confirm around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So, I was going to going to answer you. I was going to ask what's going So, so, so that, that, just, that is an open market thing. Mm -hmm. It's not hidden in any way. So once my QS thing come to you that, yes, our concrete rate that has been agreed for like 50,000 mm -hmm. back, that I can no longer fly. So you have to, we have to just do something. What's Because we will not want to risk, sorry, we will not want to risk our image to, exactly. to do a shabby, to do a shabby yeah, job. Are not professional. Do you mind, do you mind telling the audience what QS is? A, a QS is actually a quantity surveyor. Okay. So they actually cost any aspect of the building. So, you know, this thing is so nice now. Mm -hmm. You can actually know the cost of your building even yeah. at the conception stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. according to the prevailing market, prevailing market, exactly. Yeah. So when it now keeps changing, according to so you now have to come up with those variations, those yeah. aspects of mm -hmm. work that has increased in value. Yeah. Now, so. What if it's in a case where case where you want to increase, like put like 
30% extra together with your budget. Mm -hmm. And so just in case there's inflation, inflation, you don't need to go back to the client to be explaining to the client. Yeah, nah. to but you. if you do I that, it's mean, like, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> cheating. <laughs> I, I can answer you. Aware, as a client <laughs> yourself, you may not want to take that. Exactly. Let the engineer, let, let me money. help you answer <laughs> that question. Because if you do that, it's like, are you expecting things to go high? <laughs> are you yeah. going to I mean, tell people to increase? No, that can't work. If you are looking at it from the developers angle, mm -hmm. like we yeah. like developers, mm -hmm. yeah, it increases your your sales value. Mm -hmm. And once your sales value is higher than what the yeah. uh, market rate is, mm -hmm. you find it very difficult to sell. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just like me coming to tell you, Chief Coach, um, okay, so this is the amount of it, but in two weeks' time, things are going to be high, yeah. so pay this extra amount. So, yeah. so it definitely can so, work so that way. So when situations like that mm -hmm. happens and then um, uh, builders go back to the client that yeah. this is, this is what's happening. That they need to sit on the round table yeah. and see how they can solve that issue. So that there can be transparency so as well. So that there can be transparency and so that it doesn't affect business. Mm -hmm. But business. when builders went back, go back to developers mm -hmm. and the developers are telling them, see, there's nothing we can yeah. do. You have to improvise, mm -hmm. you have to manage, you have to do. So then the builder on his own side cannot go and... I mean, I will leave the project. Yeah. No, yeah. some will not leave, then they start... <laughs> That's the stingy ones and, yeah. and then it will fall. They start improvising yeah. Yeah. before you know you then put some standard material. Yeah. And this will take me to, you know, now we're talking about the idea of, you know, real estate. Because for you to build something, you don't just get up and build. It first comes with an idea. You think about it. You vision it. You think, is it going to come out right? Is it going to come out left? And this takes me to our trip to uh, Marrakesh when we're going to Morocco. Mm -hmm. I really need you to explain that. Because I know that you got a beautiful idea, which you shared to us before we went on the hot air balloon. Morocco was amazing, guys, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I wanted to share with us some of the ideas you know you picked from that uh well let me I, i'm going to relate it to one of mm. our projects that uh, we want to embark on it's mm. called the iconic city and okay okay it's in Epe. um over the years you know most times we do travel when, when we travel out of the country like this you want to see places you see the way that they do their real estate mm -hmm. there you want to come back home and and also see how we can also project in Nigerian legacy sector to meet up with the international standards. And um, being a family man, mm -hmm. uh, we, see, we thought of that family is everything, mm -hmm. that we need to put up an estate that is going to have all family-centric features, yeah. that, that is going to be a live, work, play kind of estate. So mm -hmm. the idea came up, okay, we have this uh, mass uh, land that we can actually achieve something like that. It's going to be a combination of residential, commercial, and everything, mm -hmm. residential, leisure, yeah. you know, put it everything. Yeah, in so we conceptualize the idea mm -hmm. and say, okay, let's have this and name it Iconic City. Iconic City. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have a water park in mm -hmm. A oh, wow. golf, uh, rail, mm -hmm. country club, hotel, mm -hmm. mall, wow. you know, so you don't have to. In the, in the same Nigeria that so, we are? Yes, yeah. you have okay. To, you don't have to go out of mm -hmm. your estate. You, you might be within the perimeter. No, of I wouldn't go out if I went there. What am I yeah, going you know, to do? You have your family, they say, Dad, mm -hmm. take us out. You know, I have these yeah. issues, you know, with yeah. my kids that say every Sunday, Dad, are you going to work today? No, I'm not going to, to work. work. Ah, so you have to take us out. <laughs> so, and the stress of, oh, how do I navigate Lagos traffic? Traffic, and, 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 true. And, 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 but if you have, if you live within an essence mm -hmm. like that, it's just you mm. walk away from your Chief Coach is just yeah. indirectly telling us marry right and have money. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just a work done. To yeah. Your, you know, and you have everything that's going to make the place yeah. an entertainment city. So mm -hmm. we call it the biggest African entertainment city. Mm -hmm. And so, to my surprise, when we got to market, yeah. the hotel, that, of course, the, the agent that did the booking, the mm -hmm did all of the booking. So we will, we're not even privy to the fact that the hotel that we're going to stay in is going to be something like, like that, that in that yeah. nature. So when we get there and uh, we enter into the hotel, and wow, it was uh, the same concept mm -hmm. that we have for Iconic. And I did they steal my concept? <laughs> it's, just, it's just that the only thing there is that the residential part happens to be the one for the accommodation. Oh, yeah. Like, they have the water park, they mm -hmm. have everything we talk about, mm -hmm. uh, pool, everything. But then they now have a uh, residential, mm -hmm. which comes out in the in terms of the apartment that we uh, in the 
hotel room okay. that we have to sleep in. Mm. So they don't have residence, residence yeah. aside yeah. having mm. hotel. 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 Yeah. So we are all amazed and talking to you guys yeah. and you told us that when we that, that this is what we're planning yeah. for for the iconic city and mm -hmm. you see it's good to travel. It's good to travel. Because a lot of people when even from the retail background, mm -hmm. under the book bookage mm -hmm. um yeah. a lot of people qualify for incentives, mm -hmm. travel trips, and yeah. they will come to you and say, Give me money. Give me my money. I, I want to monetize it. Yeah. So what we normally tell them, we advise our developers as well is that see. It travel is, is part of education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you travel, your mind's open, your yeah, mindset yeah, yeah. change, your mm -hmm. perception about things change. No, they so, say you think you're rich until you travel, or yeah. you think you're staying in the exactly. finest house until you travel. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. it's, it's as, yeah. as uh, close as Ghana is. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> Ghanaian, <laughs> Ghanaian people, like, you travel to Nigeria and your eyes. Right. <laughs> you, <want to> go. <laughs> and you don't want to go back home. No, but so, no, I, I don't want to go back because I love Nigerians. Feels like home. Even when I was in Ghana, I I love Nigerians, so what that, we're not going to talk about that now. Back to you. I love Nigerians, you love right anyway. Maybe yeah. Because it's the best. Yeah. Are we all arguing over that? Thank you. Are we arguing over that? Thank you. Thank thank you. you. No, no. People, just, people still do. But we know it's the best. Oh, okay. mm. wow. mm. But are you trying to say it's not the best? Thank you. No, 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 no. no, no. Some people still argue it's not the best. You know it's the best. But some Ghanians still never. Nigerians, you don't change it. Anyway, that's the best. Guys, not to worry. We'll do this later on. Okay. Okay, okay. You can invite me as a guest when you have this topic on this. On this. No, we will cook Ghana jollof. No, guys, we'll do it. We'll bring our real estate people and we'll cook Ghana and Nigerian jollof and they'll judge. Nah, Don't worry, don't let's go. compare. I mean, Nigeria <laughs> jollof is still the best. So, you know, when you travel, your mind will open. You mm -hmm. see things. Yeah. You see how people do things in advance. Mm -hmm. And it will also take me back to what I said earlier, that the developer, that take this developer that is building this mm -hmm. in Nigeria without yeah. giving yeah. it too much of attention. Mm -hmm. Why they go out and do the same thing? They comply. Comply. They comply with the standards. Yeah. So, travels open your mind. So I yeah. encourage you guys when you see the opportunity, travel. Yeah. You be able to like see things and mm -hmm. bring it back home. Yeah. And when you bring it back home for the investors, when you are investing yeah. in such project, mm -hmm. you know that what you are investing on is is a top notch project that is going yeah. to give you a kind of appreciation that you can never imagine. Yeah. Can okay. never imagine. Mm -hmm. Can you please give us, um, engineer? Can you please give us a rundown of quality construction process from start to finish yeah basically you know the construction process does not just start and end at when you start the same building yeah so, to to a client for as our old for instance so you know you first of all you conceptualize by having a brief mm -hmm. you know that yes i want to do something so you now ask you know how to hack your choice that what are those things that you need to really have do you have the, the financial capacity what is the economic value mm. of what I'm bringing up? Mm. What, what is, do you have? The, what is the legal implication of mm. this? Do you have oh, the environmental? How will it affect the economy? Mm. Then you now talk about the technicalities that are involved. Who and who do you need to bring into this? So mm. basically, what I just explained now, these are visibility studies that, you, need to, that you are carrying out. Yes. That will give you the viability and how, how possible this project is for you. So once you've answered that, because you now know that, yes, if it's if it's a high-rise structure, what was the status of the firm you are bringing in? Mm. So if it's just a bungalow, maybe you might need to go and recruit some year one students in Unilag or something to come and build it for you. Mm. So basically, you you need to get your team ready. Mm -hmm. So it is not just when you have that brief that, yeah, I need this space to be like this, I need this room to be like this. That's when you need the architect. So you need to also, it's best also to have to have your to have your, some of your team involved at those stages because yeah. we call all those stages they are they are, they are called pre-design stages. Pre -design. You do a coordination yeah. meeting. It is not just when you have structures standing yeah. and do a coordination meeting because mm -hmm. that helps in a lot. So we did a job for trip that we in fact before we even years before we even mm -hmm. went on site we did series of meetings. Mm -hmm. Before we went on site, so I just tried it that you actually will, because <laughs> <laughs> they know they know yeah. their owners, they know yeah. that they have a brand to mm -hmm. protect. So mm -hmm. we everything are done according to the standard. How it's supposed to be? How you supposed it's to be? Beautiful. So you get your team ready. Once you now, once you have an architect to agree on this, okay, adjust this. How 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 convenient would the toilet be to this room? Mm -hmm. Once you answer the the question, then the, 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 the yeah, because you know, talking about that, you see some houses in Lekki, 
I don't know. I don't know if we should go to this. The toilet is closed to the... <laughs> and I asked myself, what, did an architect actually say it? Like, you see the house, the toilet is close to the kitchen. You know, this question actually arose from the clients. The client, an architect will tell you what is obtainable in the yeah, what, yeah. what is what is possible. Are you what, guys what's trying to play No, no, no. You know, if you are actually funding a job, mm -hmm. then the architect is you know where you stay. Yeah. It's actually the size of the studio. Yeah. Then he, then they are now giving you a space mm -hmm. for you to invest your money on. It's almost like 10 or 40 percent of this space. You actually yeah. raise pressure. Mm -hmm. But the architect will tell you that at least man, if you cannot take this, do we can we widen it? But by widening it, mm -hmm. you are losing units. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you will not want to look in that direction. Mm -hmm. You say, I need to cash out my money. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a question. So most of this relies solely on yeah. the clients. Yeah. So if you are actually now saying, so to, to, to your question now, yeah. so basic things, once you have your design ready, then you need to meet with the government to get the necessary approval. Or you, you wouldn't want to start a structure now, then day in, day out, they can't come to site to, yeah. to stop your work. Yeah. You wouldn't like that. Yeah. So those are the things that, that cause inflations, that we said earlier. Yeah. If, you, if you actually, if you actually, if you can conceptualize your design now and you go to the site, it, it, it's on, on the average, on the on the average, a floor doesn't take more than a month to, to achieve. Mm -hmm. That depends. So you now use that to parade for the numbers of floor. So you can actually, if the fund is available, you can actually go to a site and finish up on time. Mm -hmm. So once you have your drawings ready, then you are with the government. Then once your approval number is ready, you can move to the site. Then you have your geotechnist do a soil test of where you are. Yeah. Then they can now advise on the type of on the type of foundation to type of foundation to, yeah. to, to employ on that job. Yeah. Okay. So once that then you need to build you need to build as I said okay. good materials and and very expensive material does not make a very good structure. structure. Mm. So you have to get the right thing that knows what to do because mm. you cannot you won't want to build a structure that at least I've had instances mm -hmm. where people will be seated in the living room. They what the water ingresses when it exactly. rains in their on their mm -hmm. towels. Can you imagine on that? On the POP falls on off. On the POP falls off. We've seen that a lot of they times. They won't want to have that. So, but you know, all these boys are to you having a very good team on you. Yeah, yeah okay. too. So once you have all that, you are good to have a very good construction processes. Yeah. In the end, you said something about the government appro government, government approval. Okay. Now, how are we going to handle those land grabbers? That will still come and disturb you even after doing the right things. Oh. Are they going to settle them, their money less, while you know when you want to start building, you know, okay, when they come for the, oh, the whole disturbance things that they are coming back to buy? Uh, well, things have uh, maybe have on the other side, yeah. Okay. Yeah. side, on the mm -hmm. side, on yeah. the Lekki yeah. yes. downward. I think things are changing. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will come, but um, once you negotiate with them, you finalize yeah. them. Mm. When you pay them, they don't come and disturb you. Okay, then but Jeff, can... let me go to you and let's talk about identifying a good land. You know, sometimes it's not even all about just building, like identifying that this land is good for me to build on or this land is in the right area where I'll be able to sell quick. Yeah. You know, because sometimes I know that areas also vary. Like you can build a house someplace, it's far, people, accessibility and everything. So. What are the things that come to your mind before, you know, picking that this is the right land, the area is good, I'll sell fast, because we know that you always like to cash out. You say it, you always like to sell. So, you know, what are some of those factors? Yeah, yeah, thank you for that question. Uh, if you remember last week, I will still go back to my... Yeah. Sounding like a professor. My go you. Ten, ten commandments. commandments. Yeah. <laughs> if you follow it from one to the end, you won't, do, you won't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should even publish it for that there. No, no, I think you should. I'll post the book launch. You should. <laughs> so number one is you need to identify your why. Why are you buying? Okay. Why are you buying? If you're buying for... Now, I've seen a lot of people buy real estate. Mm -hmm. They buy properties and um, they want to use it for development. They want to use it from the business angle. Yeah. They buy real estate and they thought that because everybody wants to buy land, mm. it should be very easy for them to sell. Mm -hmm. So, mm. and when you look at where they buy, the way they have those projects, and we put it out to the market, the project starts struggling. Yeah. You as a businessman, from the business angle, why are you buying real estate? You want to buy real estate in juicy locations mm -hmm. that yeah. will be very easy for you to sell. Yeah. In juicy locations close to where there's development, so that mm. as you're putting it to the market, it's mm -hmm. sellable. Yeah. So. That is your why. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But you don't just say because yes, real estate is good. Real estate is the real thing. But you don't mm-hmm. just go and buy inside the bush In anywhere where yeah. there is no accessibility and you expect miracle to happen. happen. <laughs> I don't know where that happened. Yeah. So you don't expect miracle to happen. So you need to first of all understand why you buy. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the business, I mean, this trade yeah. for profit. Mm-hmm. I want to give value in exchange for money, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So understand why you are buying. Mm-hmm. So once you understand why you are buying, then you start looking for properties in that that suits the reason why you are buying Fine. that uh, project. So, and when you are looking for properties, mm-hmm. accessibility is one. Mm-hmm. Location is very important. It's very, very important. Yeah. Location is very, very important. Now, are you buying, are you going to real estate development to, to start a building project? Mm-hmm. Are you going to real estate development to, for the sake, sake of land banking? Mm-hmm. Are you going to real estate development for the sake of giving value, giving value. to people? You know, so once you understand these things, it's mm-hmm. going to help you in terms of location. Choice so of location is very key. Yeah. Accessibility mm-hmm. is very important. Then uh, proximity to mm-hmm. major infrastructure yeah. is also very important yeah. because these are the things that yeah. are going to give your land mm-hmm. value yeah. Yeah. and a quicker returns on investment. Because I even heard that when you want to look for a land, it needs to be close to a school, a hospital. Am I correct? Those are some of the things we hear yeah, about. So those are yeah, the it needs to be close to all those places. If, if, if you, for instance, go and uh, buy a land in where there is no... Facilities. Nothing like that. Mm-hmm. How do you, when you build finish? How, how are you going to navigate that? Yeah. Because you have kids that have to go to school. Mm-hmm. You need to go to malls to do some mm-hmm. of the shopping. You know. Yeah. So when your structure is when you don't have mm-hmm. so all of these facilities yeah. within where you are building, mm-hmm. then there's a problem. Yeah. And yeah. these facilities also mm-hmm. contribute to the capital appreciation of mm-hmm. the property. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. the thing is that I'm just glad that we're able to have conversations like this because a lot of people just want to buy land. Mm-hmm. I know you guys are watching. I have friends that we've spoken about it, and they like they just want land, even though it's far away in some bush down the road. They just want to have land. Well, you well, know, if, if they are thinking towards the line of mm-hmm. land banking, yeah, you just want to say that. Buy, yeah. But you have to just yeah. like we said last mm-hmm. week. You just need to be very careful. Do your due diligence. Yeah. The land is good and it's cheaper in mm-hmm. price. It has the title. Mm-hmm. You can buy for land banking and keep. You just bank it there. Yeah. Over time, when yeah. development comes, the mm-hmm. value know, increases. Yeah. Do you know, this just takes me to some very funny story. My mother in Ghana, um, she bought a land. Now I know better. I wish I knew all of this when she bought that land. She built a small house in a bush in Kaswa. <laughs> she went there. There was a snake. <laughs> she never, wow. And she never stayed in that house. So this and this is something that happened in my family. So I feel like sometimes we just do things. We, because you don't she wanted to build. Like yeah. it was in a bush. It was just the only house. <laughs> the only house standing in the bush. She, you know. What you have done is just buy and keep, keep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And keep yeah. Wait for development to come. To come and that, what yeah. is even a bit cheap, cheaper to mm-hmm. perfect title. Yeah. So when you buy in the uh, areas that are not developed yet. Mm-hmm. So perfect title. Do your take your possession. Do your perimeter fence. Yeah. And you wait for development to come. Once development comes, then you can sell yeah. at a much more higher price. higher price. So once you understand the reason you are buying. Then you have to look for this in this the, the location itself. Yeah. The tie to, which is very, yeah, very important. Very important. Yeah. Accessibility mm-hmm. and uh, close proximity yeah. to major landmarks. Major landmarks. Yeah. Mom, so, I'm, Mom, I'm glad you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. I think we should also discourage people that doesn't have money to buy in very high bar areas. So they should rather opt for <laughs> land. They should rather opt for land banking as Chief yeah, has yeah. So Just that, that so that we are still making some money. So, yeah. yeah. Three years, yeah. Chief Coach. Regarding this construction process, I know you must have faced challenges. Mm. So how do you overcome, like, how do you, you know, overcome the challenges, you know, the cost of um, overrun, the delays and the likes? How do you overcome them? And, you know, what are the challenges, other challenges that you face in this industry? Yeah, thank you. That is a very good one. Um, as a real estate developer in Lagos and in Nigeria, within the Nigeria economy that we work with now, mm. I think the major challenges that we're facing now is the inflation rate. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. inflation rate is very, very crazy. And then uh, this has posed as a major challenge to deliverability on projects. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of real estate developers that started projects. Like, Can't finish. Uh, 
And yeah. um, I think the, all of this happened around, after COVID-19. Yeah. And then uh, Chuelba so started a project before that COVID-19, and today they've not mm -hmm. been able to deliver because of the way the inflation rise and also, yeah. you know, and inflation and FX, they go mm -hmm. hand in hand together. Yeah. The dollar rate to Naira rate is very, very keen. In, and this is one of the major, major things that mm -hmm. is affecting real estate development. And it's going to set us back. Yeah. Because, you know, the housing deficit in Nigeria is high now. I think we are about mm -hmm. 14 million or something. Yeah. And we are all trying our best to see how we can be up. Yeah. That space mm -hmm. by providing affordable and quality houses. Mm -hmm. But uh, with these inflections and the state of the economy, yeah. I, I don't see us closing that, that gap anytime, okay. soon. anytime soon. Because and you're not trying to be optimistic? Of course, we will. Uh, business. Of course, we are optimistic. But you, you are affecting the reality. We are, yeah. Yeah. We are mm -hmm. still building. We are still, we still have projects and projects are still going on. Mm -hmm. But you know, going into a project, you already have your, you can, just like you said, yeah. two years give you the mm -hmm. P, we calculate your projection, okay, if I sell at this, this is what I will have at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. You know, but into the project, six months into the project, eight months into the project, all of your profit. Goes up, yeah, it's gone. It's gone, so you have nothing, nothing to, to mm -hmm. hold on to. And so it, this is the major challenge that we have. But how are you dealing yeah. with it, actually? Well, oof. Devise several means to see how we can beat this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one is that now you know for us at Chabitat, most of our housing project we started as off plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We started off plan project and, um, and it affected us a lot. Mm -hmm. But we've been able to like reduce the effect. Mm -hmm. Number one is that we don't sell off all our units at off plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. So. We, we segment in our development. For instance, now our ambulance project is 97 units of houses. Okay. We segment it like these numbers will be sold at the introductory price. Thanks. As we as as we move milestone by milestone, as we we're able to maybe foundation level, yeah. we're able to achieve foundation, yeah. mm -hmm. we mark up the price as well. Because you know that what you buy today. In the market, exactly. it's not the same. The same material. The same yeah. thing. What exactly. You, you go the next day, months. and then it's, it's what something you buy today, else. It's not the mm -hmm. what you buy tomorrow. When we started Ambiance One Project, then in twenty twenty, we used to buy uh, a tip a tip of sand for fifty k. Yeah. But now we are buying for one thirty. Wow. Of course. Wow. A, mm -hmm. a, a, a granite, a truck of granite, we used to buy at. Uh, at uh, I think one something then mm -hmm. the, now, if I tell you the cost of a truck of granite, mm -hmm. it's five mm -hmm. five hundred. Kudos, wow. kudos to you! Well, wow, wow, foot, almost four foot. That's yeah. So where's the profit at the end of the day? So, so you have to balance. So so we just you know so as we increase the price mm -hmm. uh, yeah. gradually. The little margin that you put on, of course, in the, before you can do this, you must yes. have put value. Of yes. course. Have, because people want to see what. Yeah, you do. true. So by building, we, we're able to like reduce, as as we are increasing in the value of on the project, yeah. also marking up the price so that yeah. we can accommodate some of these losses. So it has been able to help us to reduce it, though not totally. Not totally. It has been able yeah. to help us to reduce it. And you can't sell your house above. The market rate really? because it's going to be very high and we will not be yeah. able to sell it. Mm -hmm. So one of the means that we've done is mm -hmm. to then we reserve some to sell at a premium price at complete at, for the big boys and yeah the for the big boys. <laughs> yeah, there are some people that they don't believe enough plan. Yeah, you can't mm -hmm. blame them because mm -hmm. they have got their hands yeah. on some plan. Mm -hmm. So they want to wait for you to finish construction. Finish. So yeah. once you finish construction, because then I, that's yeah. when they want to come. That, that's that's how mm -hmm. I feel like that's the array brand. You know, just, but, but just but much, how much is it? Well, I pay off plan. But they're going to buy it at a much more higher price. That, we that's, have, that's what I want to be. I want to be that rich. I don't want I, to. I want to be an investor. Let, I buy an off plan property. No, no, no. And I mean, then it increases. I'm and then I, I just want to buy it when it's done. It's not like I don't want to holler. Please take me back to my question. <laughs> Why are you buying? Yeah. She wants to buy as an investor. No, me, I want yeah. to buy to cheat. So and then it's completed. I sell, I buy. Soft life. That's the reason why you're not buying. Yeah. Buy. What mm -hmm. about as investor? I don't mind. Yeah. I have people like, then when we're selling in Benjamin, mm -hmm. this guy stays in Banana Island, sir. Come and buy 
massive land here yeah, is cheap this is the new lagos mm -hmm. you know this place will turn to xyz you know yeah. what this guy said bro <laughs> <laughs> in 10 years when you are selling baby let's yeah. for 100 yeah. I will buy it that's me let's go <laughs> you see this, that's the attitude I'm going to buy it but I like this is 1 million that they are selling mm -hmm. yeah, I will buy it yes that's when, the attitude when baby uh, let is I will One wait. Why you? Buy, I will buy it. I will have the money. I will buy it. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know. But talking about money, let's talk about funding. You know, for a lot of real estate people. Okay. Do you guys actually get funding from the government? From government? Yes. Have uh, you ever gotten money from government? <laughs> no, 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 no. We have not. We have not. Like Chief Court, you, you are on live TV. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what do I feel like? True, government yeah. owns the money in banks. So. Well, well, as a no, no, I want to go to. No, let him talk. I will go there. No, we'll definitely no, go to banks. Wait. Okay. No, no, I want to attack him. Yeah. Okay. For us at Charity Real Estate, mm -hmm. we've not gotten funding from government. From government, or okay. From uh, banks. Oh, this So all our projects are self-funded. Wow. But we are open. Till now. Well, we are open See, to look hold like, down. Look, 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 okay. Oh, you know, he asked me to hold on. I will hold, hold on. on. We are okay. open <laughs> to funds from government. But the truth is, uh, the real estate or the the money policy mm. in Nigeria do not favor real estate. Mm. Why do you say so? Mm. Because the interest rate is very, very high. Yeah. The interest rate is very, very high. And when you when you calculate your margin mm -hmm. on 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 project mm -hmm. and you prorate it to the interest that you know, the yeah. banks are demanding from mm -hmm. you, there's no way you can make that Imagine. Yeah. yeah, but is like, it just a thing of Nigeria? Because I know in Ghana, a lot of people get funding from the government to build houses. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know a lot of people, you know, that have taken money from oh, government to build. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so it, is it a Nigerian you, thing that the interest get, is the high? The way you get funding from government yeah. is through the uh, mortgages that may be the yeah. uh, uh, NHF. Okay. And also, what NHF gives you is like, 15 million, mm -hmm. maximum is 15 okay. million. So, and 15 million, even affordable houses, now, well, that's true. 15 yes. million cannot even buy the yes. most affordable house. Yeah. Yeah. Because 15 million cannot even build the affordable house. Mm -hmm. So, so what, but I want to understand it. Is it just a Nigerian thing or other countries is favorable to them or it's just a Nigerian thing? Well, for African countries, I can't say, mm -hmm. but for the Western world, yeah. uh, this is how they, they have the government are putting measures mm. to be for the citizens yeah. to be able to buy houses yeah. on a very long, mm. uh, yeah. uh, long, long time yeah. mortgage period yeah. with a, uh, a smaller interest rate, mm. like a one digit interest rate. Yeah, I, I, I have an idea. Okay. Then well, I would like you to, you know, I would like you to tell me what you think about the idea. Mm. In the case where I have dollars. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm giving it to the bank, mm -hmm. and they are giving me an interest rate that I, I want to. I want to like give it to you. Yeah. So I deal with the bank with dollars, and then when they are loaning it, it's you know the interest rate is yeah. smaller. It's not compared to the normal interest rate they are going to give in naira. Does it and work so that again, way? Where did we get? Where we get access to the dollar? dollar. So, I have to have it personally. <laughs> Let's attack this girl. It's like she had some money somewhere. <laughs> I have to have it. Well, it wouldn't even, yeah, if you have, you have money yeah. somewhere, bring it up. <laughs> Yeah. And um, for the banks as well, uh, I think maybe the yeah. cost of funds with them too, mm -hmm. probably where they are getting their funds is very high. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why they have yeah. these higher margins. So, but if the be government truthful. can look into yeah. this, yeah. Yeah. because really, yeah. the housing debt is, I just said, mm -hmm. is over 14 million. And we have to close this gap mm -hmm. because there are a lot of people that need houses. So if the government can come yeah. to support real estate, mm -hmm. If we can access loan at a minimal interest, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll be able to to build more. Uh, build more. Mm -hmm. Most of us, most of the developers with integrity that yeah. have okay. shown that have built something yeah. before yeah. that have shown it. Yeah, yeah but the, let me just say this: like, I am very surprised because I always thought that you all get funding. 
no, no. no. So you know this because a lot of people also think that as well. So kudos. That's that's not, that's not, like not hundred percent. Yeah. So that 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 so, that's, so that's great. Mind works in UK, for instance. So yeah. Developers get funded by yeah. the government. They even yeah. build. So you mm-hmm. you come, you are not even buying up plans. Yeah. The system is different here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you have because I have friends that don't really stay in the yeah. UK and. I think you just need to put maybe maybe thirty percent of yeah, the value of yeah. what we cost to be yeah. to the bank as your equity, mm-hmm. right? And the bank fund you from, yeah. from beginning yeah. to. So I think the interest rate was not as high as. It and is the interest now. is not high. It's not high. No, I'm even talking about the one in Nigeria now, currently happening. It, it wasn't as high as it is yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. What yeah, can be the cause? Inflation is not. Inflation is not. But people don't jack past, still stay here. Things can be okay. I was about okay? to say, I can they go don't to jack the past. <laughs> stay in Nigeria. I can jack past. Things will get better. Yeah. Things will get better. And then let's just be hopeful that. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Probably maybe in the coming year, 2024 is just a hard corner. And we have a new God. government, yeah. so it's just stabilizing. We hope, yeah, in another one year or two. So yeah, we yeah. believe this will come back to normalcy. Yeah. At least to some years minimum. I'm tempted to say amen. Yeah, yeah, no, amen. Yeah. I, I, I believe. I think I also believe in um, you know the new government as well. Yeah. You know, I, I think there's going to be changes. So yeah. we're just hoping that it will be favorable for the real estate world because a lot of companies are suffering, and especially real estate, like what he's saying, like. Losing a lot of profit yeah. is, is not the yeah. best. It's yeah. affecting everybody. Because we, we actually believe that even if government cannot even mm-hmm. uh, intervene in the area of interest with the banks yeah. and more that yeah. even giving money to the developers, mm-hmm. yeah. if they can actually tame the, the skyrock the spiraling rises of prices of materials and all. Yes, so I think that, even, I think it even, starts with that. It starts with that. Once yeah. you can even tame that, mm-hmm. I think we are all fine. Yeah, so the, the, the high increase in materials is killing that. So yeah. can, can you imagine uh, Bua cement has announced since mm-hmm. how many months now that the cement price will be brought down to 35? Mm-hmm. We've, never, we've never gotten that. The well, the thing is, I also think it's with the individuals because, yes, I know that things are hard and all, but I think we individuals are also hyping the prices. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can't take away human greed. Because, exactly. Yeah, yeah, human greed I think the human greed is also factor. a very huge yeah. factor as human well. Greed as well because it's so shocking. Somebody you bought material for yesterday mm-hmm. at 3,000 mm-hmm. for Instagram. You see this material, you see our stocks. Yeah. <laughs> and you go there today, you tell you it's now 5,000. Yeah. Just because he heard and news. And when you now move from him to another person, let's say it's 5,000. Yeah. Before you know it, you know, it's just spread. Yeah. I think maybe they're in the same WhatsApp group. And I think that it can also be as a result of hearing the news that, oh, there's inflation, and they're like, okay. Even Let though it's still it. the yeah. old products they are still selling. So it's crazy, and you can't go back. And this will never take big me back to the buildings okay. collapsing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now this is to our investors too, and yeah. our clients as well. Mm-hmm. So they also need to be on the same page with us as developers. Yeah. When you, yeah. when you, you give it, you you sold at a particular price, and price change, or uh, the cost of construction change. And you go back to your subscribers. This is what has happened. <laughs> Woman, <laughs> yeah. you see, yeah. you, know, you saw that this price is yeah. high. Yeah. So you, you, you already have that, that this price. So that this is price. So it yeah. becomes a toss mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. developers and subscribers, and, and this can also lead to the developers and okay, you're changing ways and social yeah. ways and sell inferior house yeah. to you or something. Because they can't start house. including their own personal you, money. You will build it. Polish it, paint it, the house will look fine. You move yeah. After a while. Well. Yeah, a lot of people complain about that. Yeah, so yeah. You stay in the house two weeks, three weeks. Sometimes two months. not 100% developers, but when yeah. you go back to subscribers as well, we are in the same economy. Mm-hmm. The same market you go to is the market I go to. Yes. Yeah. This has happened. How can we balance mm-hmm. it? We shift yeah. here, we shift here. Yeah. Everybody be bought. But if the but person is saying no, for me, I think I'll just leave it instead of put my hands in something dirty that would of not course, last. Yeah. What I think that that's it already. And no, but I won't happens. finish what it's not going to be good. I won't finish what at the end of the day my name will be jeopardized. Well, I, the I agreement I was to finish it. No, but well, when you cannot give me the correct resources to finish it, take me to court. I win. You, you want me to <laughs> kill you in the house? <laughs> if I kill you, yeah. you will come and arrest me. So at the end of the day, I think that it's not even just about the clients, clients, clients. I think that even as an engineer, you can tell that, madam, this thing don't go work. It cannot work. You know. 
because they are saying they want it, they want it, then you no, get it you done. You want to save your email, there are jobs that exactly. you can actually work out. Mm-hmm. Can work out work yeah, and, and I'm sure you have done that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the number of deals that you have to work away, yeah. it's not casting stone that you just yeah. have to make sure you finish the yeah. job. No. Uh, yeah, and in the aspect of, you know, these developers getting a good reason to do bad things, right, let's now come from the aspect of when they, in, you know, do the stuff how do they get materials that is fake? And is there like a body that can approve before they start building that, okay, this material is not good and you have to change it or it's not they approved, just so get don't cheaper quality. No, I, f- I feel no, like no, there should be a body. Let me, let me, let me answer that. See, what, 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 what um, developers would do in that instance is that you know, for your concrete mix, as an engineer, you have your ratio. Yeah. You have where you're supposed to mix uh, three pounds of sand, sand uh, cement. You know, you have your base ratio. Okay. But with that, if the money is not forthcoming, they start reducing it. Yeah. So okay. you have your ratio to mix. You have your, even in your reinforcement okay. placement, okay. you have your spacing. Yeah. Because if, if I'm supposed to use five tons of iron now, to achieve a slab, mm. right? Yeah. So I'm supposed to use five tons of iron, to, yeah. for instance, to achieve a slab. Mm. And then um, I, I go back to my client, things are yeah. expensive, you know, expensive, and he said, ah, no, you have to you go and do like it your way. I went up, go and put three tons. <laughs> I save two tons. <laughs> <laughs> to save two tons, yeah. you know? So yeah. and things will not go bad. Mm-hmm. So these are some of the things that some people the... do. To just say, okay, let me just do it. give you the yeah. best, uh, a perfect looking mm-hmm. house yeah. Yeah. that the, that, is, that the that cost is, is not going to be you know, too much. <laughs> but, you know, going forward for you, and, you know, because I know there are a lot of constructions you're going to be working on, what are some of the do's and don'ts with the recent economy, with what we've said? Because we don't prepare for bad things, but we don't know what will happen. But, like, what have you learned over time from COVID, from the inflation and everything? What have you learned over time? And what are your do's and don'ts when it comes to your new building, like what you're working on? The iconic city, <laughs> which I cannot wait to iconically see. <laughs> 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 so, uh, what the do's and don'ts is for us as a brand. Yeah. When we are going into development, we have already said we have already we already know what we want to do, mm-hmm. and then, and if you look at what the Chabitas brand stand for, mm-hmm. we said we are built to last. Yes. Built to last. Sometimes. We usually say we are developers that you can trust to deliver yeah. on this. Because we've said that, irrespective of what is happening in the market, you just want to deliver. Mm-hmm. Right? You just want to make sure that you deliver. And because you are built to last, you don't want to deliver anything rubbish. Yeah. You have to make sure that. No, not to deliver what you're no, last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have to I'm make sure that yeah, what you are building mm-hmm. is actually built to last. Mm-hmm. Our structures are built to last. Our relationship are built to last. Everything that we do mm-hmm. as regards the company, as regards the brand, mm-hmm. is built to last. Okay. So going forward, we're still going to stand on that mm-hmm. because that is what the, the foundation, That's the foundation the company of the company has built to. Come rain, come shine. Mm-hmm. We just make sure that we always do the right thing. And yeah. it's, it's, it's evidence. Oh, yeah, evidence yeah. day, right? Mm-hmm. Evidence is full ground. If not, if I explain that, yeah. So when you go down, you see the yeah. kind of quality. Well, I've seen a couple You see the process, you yeah. see the thoughts, you see uh, the attention we pay to yeah. everything. It is, it is not that this company actually knows what they are doing. So yeah, for us, and um, costing challenges as well, costing. Yeah, costly challenge is just that we have to play to the government to yeah. help us. Yeah. yeah. So that we can. I like the way he's humble saying that. Of course, now he's going to I mean, of course, now he's going to continue to deliver. Because it's all for the betterment of yes, Nigeria as well. Yeah. Yeah. Price commodity control. Mm-hmm. That's what we, uh, the industry players, are, are clamoring for. Mm-hmm. So once mm-hmm. government can do that for us, it's fine. So yeah. you, you need to give us money. Let's go and tame the yes. price. Yeah. yeah. To give us money. We know we are also like yeah. we yeah. try to yeah. juggle it up and down. Mm-hmm. But if we can get a very good price, price. range, then better. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, moving on, Chief Coach, in the aspect of marketing, you know, what are the roles of real estate agents, marketing agents regarding branding? What do you have to say about that? 
uh, well, uh, this one now is <laughs> you are putting me on your because <laughs> I'm actually a reader as well. Yeah. And um, great. What I would say to that is that. Uh, the game is changing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The game is changing. All the readers out there need to see how they can up, up their, their game. game. Mm, yeah. They need to see how they can up their game and see how they can better position themselves as mm -hmm. professional as expert. A lot of people, a lot of readers, we have had uh, 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 to know no Jack mm -hmm. about Even what we're talking about, you need, to, you need to know little mm -hmm. of everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that when you are selling, You'll be able to sell the right thing. Yeah. You'll be able to tell, give your client the best. Mm -hmm. See, those houses that were demolished in the quarter, mm -hmm. first yeah. time, it's three thoughts that sold yeah. them down. Yeah. So what happened? Why didn't Why did you do your findings? Do your actually, findings actually. Because it's just about money and incentives. Yeah. And, you, and of course, you know, sometimes we tend to blame the retail, but mm -hmm. the developers as well. Okay. Portion, because it's, it's a, it's a, it's a three-way thing. Mm -hmm. The retail's the developers, the buyers. Mm -hmm. So if the retailers were able to give the client, if developers, mm -hmm. developers are greedy, retailers are greedy, mm -hmm. the developers leverage on the greed of the retailers <laughs> to sell their <laughs> to sell at, all, at all costs yeah. Yeah, to the yeah. unsuspecting mm -hmm. client. Because the client will probably have yeah. Seeing something cheap or something, you know, yeah. they also want to play into it, so they end up buying the one project. Uh, the one, uh, project. So they start to have so they start to well. they need to, they need they to they get, uh, attend yeah. trainings. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have something in BRG, the mm -hmm. uh, BRG um, Academy. Yeah, I think I saw that. Attend trainings where you be able to learn. Mm -hmm. You will learn and you will learn. You will able to yeah. get in-depth knowledge how the industry works. Mm -hmm. you, know, you understand a bit of construction, you understand a bit of valuation, you understand a bit of of, of uh, a product knowledge, yeah. so that when yeah. you are... You know, you, you know your audience, selling, you know what you're yeah, selling. You know what you're selling, not just that. Your client, yeah. your client can you just want to you yeah. get your commission and you, yeah. you get uh, bogus incentives, mm -hmm. then yeah. at the end of the day, when issues happen, yeah. and these are our editors, and they're very funny, <laughs> when issues happen, yeah. they'll be the first to drag the developers. <laughs> because <laughs> the clients will drag them. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that it's not even just about selling one house mm. and just be happy and collect what you've collected. Mm. You know, if you do something bad, it will spread around. Mm. Nobody will come to you again. Because, mm. yes. you know, even me, because I always wanted to get into real estate, but I, I didn't find the right foundation. And I just feel like this is the most beautiful avenue for me to get into real estate because mm. I'm talking about it. I understand it, yeah. you know. So it's not just something that you wake up one morning, oh, I'm a pretty that girl, oh, I'm handsome. Mm. I speak well, I think I can do it. No, if okay. you do not understand it, it's, you will just make a mockery of yourself or you sell one and you spell your name yes, and you I don't know. ever have to do it yeah. again. And so, you really want to do that. yeah. A lot of that yeah. Go to deals. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Deals yeah. Based on property that was so, so. Mm -hmm. So it will not be in the news because, you know, yeah. when you get your computer, yeah. you spend it. Mm -hmm. Spend it. To, to, to <laughs> go to Dubai, it. chill, go on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know. So retouch need to work on branding, branding mm -hmm. themselves properly yes. with them. Mm -hmm. And they have in-depth knowledge about the industry. Okay. Yeah. Well, for us to be able to put it some kind of sanity, sanity. into the real estate. Uh, it, it, I've heard a case of, you know, a company that's, well, there are some realtors that are just starting from scratch. And in that case, they trust a company, let's say a brokerage firm, mm. for instance, to that all the properties on that brokerage firm mm. is safe and it, you know, peace of mind. At the end of it, they you know sell for the brokerage firm. Yeah. And then in turn, there are some issues. Some of the landed properties there, mm. you know, they are committed or they already said they're going to do this. They did yeah. not do it. And then issues is now like coming up and the clients are now holding their necks and all that. I'll, I'll give stuff. you, I won't mention name, but I'll yeah. give you a perfect example. Okay. In this our real estate industry, it's still boys and to greed. To mm, greed, yeah. It's still boys and to greed. There's a particular company that approached us at mm. BRG for mm. partnership mm -hmm. and um Unfortunately for them, the land they wanted to bring, mm -hmm. we had earlier inspect that land. Mm -hmm. And then um, we discovered that the land does not as, just like we talked about last week. Yeah, yeah thank God yeah. this is even coming up. We talked about last week about extension mm -hmm. and gazette. Yeah. So 
let's say, they, for, for instance, they have 20 acres of land, and the extension only covers two acres. Wow. It, less than two acres. Then the other part of the land is is um, yeah. under global acquisition, no title wow. on it. So we have done our due diligence. We want to acquire the land. Yeah. We have done the, our due diligence, and um, we discovered this, so we just stay back. Mm. So fast forward, like after some months, this company now approaches mm. us that ah, they have this property, they want BRG to sell it for them. Mm. Where is the land? They describe, ah, we know this land now, we've been there. Mm. Uh, they say, what's the title? They say it has a gazette. We say, no, it doesn't have a gazette. It's only one yeah. cow yeah. or Java that has yeah, the gazette. Just the front part. Mm. Yeah. That's no, we, that we can't deal. That's... They came to us like three times. Then we have not even big like this. We not blown. Yeah, we are just <laughs> we are still in our former office in Ikota. Yeah. yeah. So, like three times that we can sell the the their partners. One partner will come today, the other will come tomorrow. <laughs> we can sell. Fast forward, then they met another bookage firm. Yeah. Mm. That was looking for a partner. Those one just absorbed them. So they started selling that property. After they sold that property, you know, client they will they will definitely sell because. Mm -hmm. People want to buy land, they don't want to do yeah. their due diligence. Yeah. So they now thought of let's go into construction. Mm -hmm. Let's go into construction. And they want to start their first project, their housing project on, land. on that same land. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, the land is is marshy. Mm -hmm. It's a waterlogged land. Yeah. The land is a waterlogged land. And this particular project, they started selling for a two-bedroom. Mm -hmm. Even then, the economy was still okay. That was like 2020, yeah. before COVID. Uh, I think, is it COVID before or after COVID? COVID. Maybe 2019, 2020, they were selling two-bedroom. Guess how much? Mm -hmm. 6.5 million. Wow, mm -hmm. at where? Wow. On the island, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they selling? Uh, <laughs> wait now, we are giving this. Wow, really? They are selling 6.5 million. Wow. Giri, 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 all the readers were bad, yeah. good people. Uh, no. Mm. Something cheap, the self fans now, people yeah. buy. The funny part is that there was an incentive that was attached to that sales for the readers and the client. So when the client they saw the incentive, mm -hmm. I won't make mention of the incentive. When they saw the incentive, yeah. buy this, I would, you get this. Get client too, greedy. Yeah, ah. For God's sake, how can you? How do you want to do it? 6.5 million for a two bedroom on the highland. Oh, is it material? Was it material? On the island. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not feasible. It's, it's not, never it's not possible. possible. Yeah. Even yeah. when the economy was good, he can he never. Cannot, no, it's just like that's a broad. Even in the mainland, even. The land was dry. dry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Maybe, mm -hmm. But not in much. You have to spend. The land requires piling. Well, no. Projects with same status mm -hmm. of land. We did our piling. We are doing G plus three. Mm -hmm. We did piling on that land. Then, 2020, 2021, I think, we spent 50 million on just mm -hmm. a pile. Yeah. On just piling alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pile cap is not there. Not there. Just, is not just, there. Pile. just a pile alone. And we went as deep as 18 meter, I think 18 meter, we did 80 pi. Mm -hmm. 80, 88 pi. Pi. G plus three, yeah. just G yeah. plus three. Yeah. In some places, that 15 million will we, we, we yeah. do the carcass. Like, yeah. It will do the carcass. Yeah. yeah. But, so this is my fine. Fast forward to today. But what happened to those buildings? Did they fall? <laughs> well, they, they tried to achieve yeah. some building, but a lot of the clients did not get their house. Wow. Yes. Because it's not easy. Some that got, because when you come to that, you realize some got houses, but they have to add money. Add, wow. Yeah. Ah. But the I developers did not run away. I think they've already budgeted. But <laughs> they actually saw their name. You don't even need to have it. Yeah, to that's the away. thing. Yeah. Funny enough, that's the thing. So, good. Because of the, the brokerage firm led all of these people mm. into selling yeah. this property. We have some of them, they still come back, this property, I say, did you sell it under the BRD yeah. platform? Of course, no. So, because we all saw it. Mm -hmm. The industry, everybody, it's, you know, it's, it's a very big industry and yeah. also it's, it's, it's small. So, so, yeah. so yeah. the discussion was how much are they doing it? How would they be able to achieve it? You know? Because we will be looking at your own. I mean, our QS no savvy. I mean, our QS no savvy. 
Mm. But uh, today, yeah. a lot of people could not get so. Yeah. Great. So if, you know, I'm, I'm glad you also, you also mentioned this because there's a lot of greed in the world of real estate. Yeah, we will not deny it. that fact that a lot of people want the fast and easy money. Yeah. But I think overall it has been a beautiful conversation. Mm -hmm. I have totally enjoyed myself. But before I let the both of you go, of course, we need to play the game with them. And this <laughs> game is quite dicey. But before we do that, I would um, like to hear from you first. What, what advice would you like to give to home buyers, you know, people that want to buy, um, you know, houses with the recent economy, with everything happening in this economy right now, I want to buy a house. What are you going to advise me? What are you going to tell me? Yeah, definitely. You, as, the, as, the, as an home buyer, as a home buyer, you need to be very diligent and do your due diligence at mm -hmm. very, very well. You will not just buy a building you should not physically even see. Yeah. That's 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 very that, that would be very disastrous. Because I like oh, the fact that he used that word. <laughs> <laughs> that would be disastrous to your to yeah. your pocket also, mm -hmm. not just to the building. Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of buildings that we as an engineer that we do come across that yeah. this will not stand the test of science. You may mention of something earlier that 50 to 100 years. Yes. But you see, uh, as simple as that, uh, uh, there's something we call in, in, in construction, we call spalling, mm -hmm. spalling of concrete. Yeah. It's actually spelled S P A double L I N G, spalling. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's as a result of you, we are seeing some beams, on, some concrete work, then yeah. you now begin to see your reinforcement exposure. Yeah. You know, that singular act, that simple thing that you are seeing can actually reduce the lifespan of that building yeah. by no less than 10 years. Because wow. if we are, if we actually constructed a slab or a beam, for instance, you are not expected to be seeing the concrete, mm. the reinforcements. Because yeah. by you seeing, because the, the reinforcement together with the concrete, mm -hmm. they act together yeah. as a binder. They do the work together. Because mm -hmm. if we are now seeing your concrete by by the time you claim you built a structure meant to last 50 to 100 years. 100 years. Uh, you are now seeing your enforcement out. Yeah. So that reminds me when I was doing my IT, my mm -hmm. IT days after uni, like, so my boss that was doing my IT mm -hmm. told me that, look, man, you are allowing that reinforcement to show. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that you've actually reduced that building by almost yeah. 15 years? 15 years. Wow. <laughs> he used to scare us with that, that yeah. at no, on no account should you allow mm -hmm. that uh, simple thing true. to be happening to your structure. Mm -hmm. So those are the things. That's why I said home, home buyers should mm -hmm. take out time to see what they are, and that's in addition to asking cogent questions as regard to the land title, to yeah. the document. Because mm -hmm. if you are buying a, you are buying a home, mm -hmm. you don't even know maybe the land has issue. Yeah, you know? yeah. So now the government are telling people now to do a setback of so seven yeah. meter along the Kota River. Yeah. They are, so they will practically tell you to come and remove your building then. Okay. Come and remove your and building. I think that's why well. we should have Excuse me. Okay. I think that's why we should have professionals because what if is in the case where the home buyers are not in Nigeria, for example, yeah. and they want to purchase this property. But they can always so, send representatives, so, so the family members. Yes, as, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what well, we are not so family members, you, you, can, you definitely send somebody. You can't, of course, but they are I'm, not sending anybody. In addition to you buying from a retail, mm. you, yeah, at least you have, you you have definitely one of your have family. Maybe a lawyer or somebody. Or a lawyer or somebody. Yeah, I don't think you can just be abroad and... I've heard a story. Yeah. Regarding family members, they they give them money to do something and then they come home and then they don't meet anything. Oh, but, but that's with the family member. That yeah. has nothing to do with. But I don't think you can be abroad and try to buy a property and not send anybody at all. Not family, yeah. not a lawyer. I don't so think that's So in local balance, we see people buying. That will just result into audio, audio, audio property. Mm. That you, you will not see it at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. you just have to do your yeah, duty yeah. by asking the right question. Gotcha. If not so, they will sell to definitely, you definitely. a very a, a, an invisible exactly. structure. Over to you, Chief Coach, your words before we do our game section. Uh, well, I, I, I would just say is um, to build on what uh, mm -hmm. Gina Lukman has said, you need to investigate what mm -hmm. you are buying. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. Yeah. And you need to ask questions. All right. The right questions, questions yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. just asking, but asking the right ask questions. The right questions. Yeah. You need to ask the right questions. You need to involve professionals. Mm -hmm. and You need to have a team. Yeah. Uh, you, he's always about the team, team, yeah, yeah, yeah. team, team. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, like they say, one broom cannot sweep a forest. Ah, I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> so you need, you need the right yeah. people to work mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. Need to, you need to. Mm -hmm. you, you can't just do it alone. Yeah. You can't just do it alone. You need to work with the right sort of people. You need to to ask questions a lot and. Um, 
and may God be from where to, um, where to be. Bible and may God be with you. And also, okay. uh, and also, and um, <laughs> before you round up, before I put be, you on the hot seat, okay, be, <laughs> you need to be part of the construction. Mm -hmm. yes. You can only be part of the construction mm -hmm. when you buy into an off land. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not like us, that we just want to buy. We want to buy things. Yeah. We, we buy because, things. Sarah smiles. <laughs> yeah, because you need to be part of the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. Yeah. You get to see, yeah. see, yeah. see, yeah. see yeah. what developers are using. Mm -hmm. You get to see the quality of materials that goes into the house you want yeah. to buy. Mm -hmm. You get to see the quality of materials that goes to the investment mm -hmm. you want to make. Yeah. You know, because it's easier to sell to you a finished house. Mm -hmm. Because after I've screwed wall, mm -hmm. I paint. <laughs> It's looking beautiful on the outside. Lights. People mm -hmm. buy houses now. Yeah. Yeah. You see there, they put on this like that, mm -hmm. mansion. Yeah. High <laughs> ceiling. Yeah. 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 You see most of our little, mm -hmm. those ones with the big COVID. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> This is, mm -hmm. You I never know see. what went into what, that. What went into the building. That's true. You can never tell. It is when you enter now, you mm -hmm. start seeing. Something is falling down. Yeah. Look on. You don't even know what engineer just seen. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You don't know. There's yeah. Yeah. So, but why you buy yeah, part of the, the process? Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah. You go to sites. You see what they are doing. And the good thing is construction um, managers are also there to explain things yeah, to you. Ask questions. Yeah. You see what they are doing. You ask what is this, what is it. You see the quality, you feel it, you touch it. Yeah. Not when every time we sit inside the wall. Please, yeah. we are team still buying. I'll send my people to check team it out. Team still team. buying. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been amazing to have you guys, it's mm. been lovely. I really enjoyed it. Yes, and I know sir. that our audience have also learned a lot. Now you know that, you know, when you want to buy a house, if you want to follow Team um, Sarah Smiles, if you want to follow my site, Team of we are the soft people. We, are the, we, we, we don't have strength. Do you want something to follow my beautiful face? No, but anyway, now <laughs> it's time to play the game, which I love. And I'm starting with Chief Coach. Okay. You sell houses, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I want you to sell me a house in two minutes. And action. Action. <laughs> hi, Ria. Am I going to start? No, you can. Hi, hello. How are you doing? Hi, Ria. Yeah, hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Um, my name is Emmanuel Abikoye, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a retail. Mm -hmm. I help people make smart decisions when it mm -hmm. comes to real estate investment. And um, there's a property of ours that I would like you to, mm -hmm. to see. Uh, I don't know if you have that time we can talk about yeah. it. I can show you some pictures. Give me one reason why I should get the house. God. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, oh, and you, you still have enough time, though. Oh, <laughs> so we have time. We still have time. I was checking the time. Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me do the you last one before time. I go with him. Mm -hmm. um, Chief Coach, this is also to you as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much are you worth through real estate? I don't sit down and... Uh, <laughs> Chief Coach is calling us 2,000 Naira. Yeah. Okay, just give me a rough estimate. Through real estate, how much are you worth? Uh, no, no, no. For security. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm you don't get it. Right. 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 For <laughs> Engineer, I'm coming mm -hmm. to you. Right. Um, you know, at what age did you start your first project? My first project? Yes. No, as a company, for my company, right? Yes, at what age? Well, hmm. let me see. Time is ticking. One. Let, 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 let me see. Two. At, at eight. Oh, like age 30. 30? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, all right. And this to you as well. Yeah. Um, do you ever think you'll retire? Yeah. No, no, no. no not in it's the future. It's a greedy man. <laughs> no, so you don't no, want no, to, to retire. No, I mean, like, He's making too much a, money. As a, profession, as a professional, yeah. you... you you can actually even while you are mm -hmm. you are seated back home, mm -hmm. you are not going to decide. You can still give your professional advice. Chief Coach, I get to retire. Mm, you can still give. Uh, well, me, I'm going to retire. I trust you. Ah. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder you, you cannot not, say the amount that you've made for me. You cannot well, say it. But not until I've been able to put. The iconic city down. <laughs> in, like 10, in like two decades. Guys, yeah. it's been amazing. And I'm sure that you love the show as, as much as I love it. This has been very educative. You've learned a lot. And we're going to be back again next week. Next week, we're going to talk about something really dicey. I think we should talk about ladies as realtors. I think we should do that next week. Yeah. I think we should. And we'll have ladies because we've been having guys. So next week, we're going to bring you maybe two beautiful ladies right here on set. My name is Ria Abdul. It's been a beautiful time with you. Sarah? And I'm your favorite co-host, Sarah Smiles. See you on the next one. <laughs> Make sure you stay with us for the next one and follow us on all social media platforms. Yeah, please. We want to hear from you. Bye.